Okay, go. This time on Dante Ball Z, Creative Rights. Yeah, we discussed that once way back then. You probably don't remember. This was the many months ago that we started this playthrough. But uh, about Kamiya not getting access to Dante, and he created him. And Capcom doesn't acknowledge creative ownership. We're seeing how Capcom seems to have a track record of take, of uh, letting these guys create franchises that turn out to be really popular and sell really well, and then just screwing them over completely, because they seem to think that the creators are expendable, which is what happened with Kamiya, uh, Kamiya I'm making me say it now, in this game, and now Inafune with Mega Man. Pretty much everyone else on the western side. They just like, think they, they, that they can do all the work, and then they can screw them over. I went in a complete fucking circle. Yeah, like the comic book industry and the American side of things. The comic book industry is fame is notorious for those kind of uh, creator rights issues. I think you gotta keep going. Yep. I don't need to go on that roof. I think. Though. Yeah, I think. like you have to get access to a couple of rooftops because there isn't more pit in one of them. Oh. Aha! Found there, it. There we go. Anyway, yes. I think it'll be easier for you to disable the lock on. You gotta. I mean, you gotta How hold, do I do that? hold the lock on button. Which is the lock on button? R1? R1, I believe. Try it. It's not letting me Hold do it. it. Really? Oh, that's because it's R2, that's why. Yeah, R2. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it's still confusing. You gotta hold R2 so you can aim freely. Yeah, that's not confusing at all. Yeah, just focus on him. Ah, come on! You gotta, Shit. You gotta go higher. Shit! Lower! Ah! Ah! It's so hard to control this fucking because thing. Because you're let you're not holding the lock on. I, fuck! Wow, that's fucking stupid. So yeah, like I've been saying, this like, shit makes a big difference. And I don't think you can jump and helm breaker this one. Let's see. I, I wouldn't I blame you if you used an item. For what? To regenerate your devil trigger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's because the game is auto-focused on the lock. There we go. There we go. Anyway, yes, the game, the game industry is, is, seems to be having a lot of issues with that problem, but the comic industry has been at it for a long time. Like, I'll give you an example. The guy who created Wolverine way back when, from the first issue of Hulk. What's his name? Uh, I don't know. I forgot. He... He got... Because it's a... Comic book artists usually work on a contract basis. They get paid for what they do. Now, that sounds like it makes sense until you figure that, like, for example, the guy who created Wolverine, he got paid for doing the first issue that, of Hulk that he appeared in, 171 or whatever it was. Everything since then that they have made money based on Wolverine, every movie, TV show, a cartoon, comic book, action figure, that guy doesn't see one red cent of that at all. Which is fundamentally wrong. He created the character, but he doesn't see shit from it. Which yeah. At this time, this game was given over to its Suno. You know, we, we mentioned this too. It was behind uh, SNK versus Capcom too. Yes, he was. Or, or was it Capcom versus it was SNK? CBS two. Yeah, CBS two. And that's the game we see Chaos, which was Garden. Oh. Uh, what's the one everyone likes? CBS two. Yeah. The one that everyone wants a, a proper HD remix for and a sequel. Uh, and, they, and they instead they just re-released the PS2 version. Yeah. The worst version, that's what I was trying to talk to you about earlier when I was saying that there's, there was a couple of games where they made uh, ports of it, but they picked the worst possible version of the port to use. That was for CBS 2. Uh. The PS2 version of that game is garbage, as is the GameCube version, which I think they retitled like... Millennium Match EO or something? Yeah, it was crap. I felt that that was Capcom's way of throwing a bone, but also trying to spite the fans. But they didn't HD it up or anything. It was literally just the PS2 port, bad graphics and all. Hmm. Yes. Okay, that missing orb, you gotta keep moving forward. There's another path we haven't taken. I know. This is where I was before. And obviously this isn't it. I think the difference with that sword, that's merciless. Yes. Yeah, that's this sword. Is vendetta. Can I switch to rebellion? Yeah, go ahead. But Star I, menu, I right? think that sword. Yeah, equip. I think that sword it gives you more power for your double trigger. Standard sword just seems to be the medium between the two powers, because the other sword is lighter than both. How do I continue my combo in the air after I launch them? Uh, continuing your combo. I in just the try air. to jump and do. S triangle stuff, but he just does Helmbreak. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all he does. Does it have an air combo? If you're in Devil Trigger, only then you can do round trip. 
No, I mean just a regular air con where he just slashes in the air. No, you that that wasn't invented yet. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Although it is kind of a step up from being able to do round trip only on the ground. You're going back the way you came. You gotta Yeah, I'm trying to see where I'm supposed to go. You're supposed to go forward. But yes, about the creative rights issue. It's a big problem in the uh, media entertainment industry. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you're from. It happens everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there was the whole lawsuit between Todd McFarlane and the guy who created Angela from Spawn. Um... Or what the deal um, is Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. Yeah, Gaiman. Yeah. Who wrote that 1602 uh, colonial uh, revamp of the Marvel line. Of Marvel Universe, which was really good if you haven't read it. It is, I have. Like, I've read the sequels. Spider-Man 1602 and Fantastic yes. Four. They're all very good. Or the four fantastic, as they're called. Yeah. Oh, could you go in there? I think so. Because we, we got access to that. Ah! Yeah. I'm starting to remember this now, honestly. Mm -hmm. So I remember what a pain in the ass it was. Yeah, I have all the same combo, so I might as well just switch my sword. Actually, back. why don't you go to file? You might have something different. For what? Uh, for for the moves. I think that's what I tell you. Yeah, weapon. Oh no, it's just a collection of weapons. Wow, that's gay. Action. There you go. Yeah. Flip escape. Kick jump. Wall hike. High time. Stinger. Two some time. Oh yeah, you can aim the guns by moving the L stick. Right. Like. In, like directions as you're firing, but only with ebony and ivory. Covered rainstorm, double trigger, air trip, air raid, and round trip. I'm sorry. So round trip is only in DT. I told you, yeah, it's only DT in midair. Wow. So you can see how easily primitive this game is. Yeah. I believe. Because it does. It is. I think in the corner. Yeah. That. What is that? No idea. We'll, we'll pick it up anyway. Let's punch it and see what happens. Although, to tell you the truth, I don't want to spend 15 minutes looking for the other orb now that we've grabbed the second one. We still need the other yeah. orb to complete the mission. I think you can kill them in your devil trigger and they won't come back. My bullets are made of fire! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on fire! He don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn! Oh, I think I have to... Oh, there it is! There. Ha! Sneaky little bastard. Wait, what's this? You gotta disable... I see shiny object. Yeah. Merciless! Merciless. <laughs> nice! And here I thought we wouldn't find it! Yes. Alrighty, then. I couldn't see the object of the laptop. I was distracted by a shiny object. It's covering my screen. Uh, full armory. That's actually a nice way to take him out. Uh, attack the orb and at the same time kill the enemy. It's called killing two birds with one stone. If the lock-on lets me do it. It's amazing, even when you have the lock-on disengaged, he's still acting like a drunk toddler. Oh my god, this is really stupid. Alright, man, even the motion capture looks stale in here. It's so stale, that's the word, that's the only word I can think of. Actually, try not to move, try to stay in the corner while locked on. Yeah. And Dante moves forward. Because he moves him out of, himself out of the way because he's a retard. Okay, maybe if I just kill him, he'll go away. Yeah, but try, to, try not to spam your guns, because I, I don't want to prove everyone I'm right. I want to find something to do. But it's easy! Yeah. It works! After the orb. Yeah. Oh, finally! Sweet mother of crap! What about manga writers? They don't have... They generally don't have need any... to release one more? What the hell? Don't worry about it. They generally don't have any problems when trying to retain <coughs> the rights of their ownership. Well, the thing about um, the thing about manga is that unless your series is really long running and has a lot of merchandise and stuff like that, you usually don't end up seeing a lot of money. Like I believe, and this is actually a line from Bakuman, which is a manga about making manga. Uh, healing Hearts, sweet. But yes, and it, and this is actually true. They took the line from the uh, author of Death Note, Sugumi Obata, I think that's his name, saying that um, it, it, no, it, he he did Death Note, and that was a very successful series. But even after all that success, he said after two or three years, if he didn't work, he'd probably starve, because that's the way that industry is. It's very unforgiving and it's very punishing. You gotta keep 
funneling out uh, material and chapters to keep surviving, honestly. People like Ichiro Oda, who does um, One Piece, and Masashi Kishimoto, who does Naruto, Akira Toriyama, who does Dragon Ball Z, they are the, the extreme exceptions to the rule. It's kind of like... I should describe this. A lot of people play basketball, but there's only one LeBron James. There's only one guy making that kind of money, or there's a few people making that kind of money. You know what I mean? Yes, mo most cases aren't like that. Which is why they say making manga is so damn hard, because it's so, uh... You don't sleep, you don't eat, you're just, like, drawing all the time, and it burns people out. And it's understandable, that's a lot of damn work. Okay, time for me to step in. I was out taking a phone call. You'll never guess who tried to call me. It was a Jamaican scammer. I told you about this before. The same the, yeah, person? The same 876 area code, telling me that I've won over a uh, thousand, a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, man, you won a bunch of car, lots of money, man. You know, I couldn't understand her accent. You guys want to know what I did? I actually played the video of the Joker and Batman's interrogation a spoof from The Dark Knight. Um, the one that got 20 million views, I played it over the phone, and the way she was rela re uh, reacting, she didn't even know that it wasn't me. I was just putting the phone over my bass player. Yeah. And then she stopped calling me. But now it's a different 876 number, so I just... I don't know. Invited some friends. Hey, my hands are made of guns. He's not even firing his guns. He's just like shooting bullets out of his bombs. Yeah. That's fantastic. I never noticed that before. He's somehow shoo shooting bullets powered by heat. Nano machines, son. Powered by active heat aura. It's magic. I don't have to explain shit. Uh, Which is a line I wish Doctor I always wish Doctor Strange would say at least one time. I was like, but Doctor, how does this? It's magic. I don't have to explain shit. Imagine if Dante were a necromancer. Spell of Vishanti. Spell of Vishant. Whatever. <laughs> Sounds like Vishanti. It does. It is Vishanti, but Vishant is that famous Marvel player. Uh, That's where everyone says Spell of Vishant. Uh, do you think this Dante could really work in a fighting game? This Dante, yeah. he'd be slow as balls. <laughs> I mean, if we're going for accuracy based on what the game is like. Okay, this is actually working. Or, as soon as I open my mouth. Did you try, uh, personal? No, I haven't equipped it yet. Try and see what happens. It's actually supposed to be the lighter of the three swords. A thin sword with long range. Yeah. And so it's a saber. It's a rapier. Nah, I'm kidding. I actually just made that joke because I was thinking of Mega Man X Eight or Zero does equip the saber, but but his I'm thinking of Raphael from yeah. Soul Calibur. His palette swap um, is Layer. Yeah, that's her name, and she uses the rapier instead of the saber. That's why. Yeah, this game was way was made way back in the days that Mega Man X Seven came out. So yeah. there's probably like a common theme among bad games at the time. <laughs> Actually, didn't SNK versus Capcom 2 come out at the same time also? SVC Chaos? Yeah. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. See, Zero has an interesting track record among Capcom characters. He's broken in every single game he's in. He's broken in Mega Man X, he's broken in SVC Chaos, he's broken in Marvel 3. Uh, That's a pretty interesting track record. A pretty consistent one at that. You know, this round trip move looks so awesome, but unfortunately, it does no damage. It's the only thing you can do. At least try to get an A. His, his sword, his sword doesn't even like go anywhere. It just like hovers in front of him, like Ouroboros or something, for like a couple seconds. Yeah, but try to use the guns to keep your combo like active. I don't even know why I keep saying like that. What the hell is that? Oh yeah, Why's that's the aura. Guy? That's the aura from the flying enemy. It causes you to explode when you get like you have enough power to do it. Okay, you fuckers done? Thank you. I'm so glad that in the late, in the earlier game, you could just uh, stinger it, and it'd be fine. Stinger the orb, and that's it. You could stinger it with the million stabs, but stand here, there whacking it with my giant paddle. But here, you can't find it. Am I going back this way now, right? Try going... Because I gotta go back to that boss room. Mm -hmm. Alright, then just go back to the area you were in. I thought it was this way. Yeah, you've already lit all four. Yeah, I thought the... Okay, head left. Yeah, left. This way? Yeah. I thought the tentacle room was this way. We're not in a Metroid game. <laughs> oh, you were telling me about Castlevania and Metroid earlier. Well, just that, uh... Games in the style of games like Metroid and Castlevania are usually referred to as Metroidvania. 
basically it's a, it's a short term for games that involve a lot of exploring and a lot of going back to places with new items or weapons, so you can go to places you weren't able to before. Kind of like Zelda. Actually, if you want to be technical about it, Zelda was kind of the first Metroidvania game, but nobody ever really calls Zelda like a game like that, even though it really is. You know, a lot of people are crazy for the Zelda series. I am not. I was just gonna say this, but I did not know there was this like Church of Zelda until very recently when I started going to a lot of conventions and talking to a lot of people. People love Zelda, like. I just didn't know there was that big of a fan base. I mean, I knew people liked the games, you know, and everything, because they came out with so many of them. Obviously, there's got to be a strong fan base, but... I bought Holy S shit! I bought Skyward Sword and never finished. I heard it was a good game, but that's the thing, though. When I talk to these people, and I'm like, Oh, Zelda! And I'm like, Oh, yeah, those games are cool. And that's, like, the end of my input into the conversation. Like, that's it? They were just cool? I'm like, yeah, they were fun. <laughs> you, you can move on That's it. <laughs> you, can, you can just go. I know, but I want to smack them around for a bit. Alrighty then, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, there's no octopus here. Next time on Devil May Cry 2, tentacles! And a family reunion. With tentacles. Somewhat.